Again, people, now we come to zip for the blade. Hopefully, I can pour a decent pint. This is not the best pouring glass, if I may say, but it did come free one in the keg, so I'll give it a shot. It'll be better than my attempt, anyway. It's coming so far, so good, so far, so good. Plenty of carbonation out of the blade. Look at that, lovely jubbly, don't mess me up at the end and do a mould up, no. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh, perfectly poured, almost perfectly poured, pint on the blade. Okay, so, here we go. Um, this is a, it's a Austrian Pills, I do believe. Mm-hmm. It's quite right. It comes in a, oh, I can't remember the volume. Do you know what the volume is? I think it's 5.2. Yeah, it's 5.2. 5.2 ABV. Never forget ABV. Very important on YouTube. Yeah, but yeah, as I say, the pills from Austria. Our friends in Austria, funny enough, been there a few times. Lovely place. We've always enjoyed the drinks there. So I was expecting quite a lot from this. Lovely golden yellow colour for a start. You can't knock that, as you've seen. Yeah, it's crisp. Um, it's got fruity flavours. It's quite smooth, if I'm honest. It's kind of a clean lager. Mm, I'd agree with that. But then, easy drinking. Yeah, there's loads of clean lagers out there. It's, you know, we could talk, do, 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 and so on. Um, I'm going to go on because I was drinking an early a lager earlier on. It's probably a lot cheaper than this. They can be very standard, and this sort of fits into that category, doesn't it? It is a standard lager. Yeah, it's got lots of carbonation. It's a nice colour. The blade machine chills it really well. And it's poured well by a professional. But you know, yeah, better than I could do. It's got a bit of, you can <laughs> taste your, your malts, a bit of mm. biscuit, and there is hints of lemon orange. But this is it, and this is the big but. That's kind to be a pills. To me, it tastes more like a Helly's, which that's my opinion. Would and you I, say a pill should have a more bitter aftertaste? Yeah, but a little bit is, more to a bite to the end of it. Yeah, but this this mm. this is this is very popular on the blade. Don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, and that's my opinion, in a Mario cap and a red shirt, <laughs> this just so much better on the blade, and there's so much better that Austria offers on any standard lagers without What's the naming kind them. Kind of um, price comparison. Is this very expensive on the blade? No, no, it's not expensive. Not it's not all. expensive. It's a cracking glass. Is it, is it? Is it a nuclear glass? I don't want to hit the roof. No, it's not nuclear. Not a nuclear, but an excellent price for my friends at Beer Shop. Do due to Paul Parker's discount, or was it Paul Parker, or was it the other one? I don't know. It was wonderful, anyway. So, I'm thinking if you're using this machine and that is your typical kind of drink that you like, you're going to be really impressed with this machine chills it well, it carbonates it well, um, the taste of it is very, very good, it's very crisp. Yeah, but it's, it's, still, a, it's still an average lager, it's yeah. not that great. It is, it it's is not, an it's average It's not that great, full stop. It's, How would you rate it then compared to Stella? I don't like Stella, I think that's really overrated. There you go. I mean, I'm sorry <laughs> if Simon Mulder watches this, he'd delete me as a friend on Facebook, but it, yeah, no, I prefer it to a Stella. But Stella don't make me feel better. I think when it comes down to standard lagers, you've got to talk about the kind of pour you're getting, if you're getting carbonation which is good, yeah, with it. Which is good. Um, and then it really is down to price. 
Not always. Oh, I find it is because they're very much, very much. I pay eight pounds for a sour, and I don't care as long as it's nice. Yeah, but that's not a standard lager. That's a sour. That's something completely different. When you're talking about lagers, a lager is a lager. You've got to look at it, and they are very, very similar in taste, especially because they're right, good in the, they're good in warm weather, and they should be served chill. Yeah, she's got so that. the flavours that are coming that. through are not always going to be as strong as say drinking an IPA that you're going to drink at um, eight degrees. Would you buy that again? I would definitely drink that again. Yeah. Would well, you drink anything? So that's not. A... Would you buy that if you were paying for that out of your own money again on the blade? Where How there's much things was like, it per oh, pint? Ida, Ida, Ida Vice. Yeah, but it's there's a things totally like the different. Singer. It's a totally different drink. You can't compare Ida Vice or um, any of those kind no, no, of but drinks. Not, that, but the there's not that much difference. To they are. They're it's totally just different. Cut, cut, cut. There's not that much difference in they the price. They are totally different drinks. But there's not that much difference in the price. Well. Then it would pretend uh, it it would be on what my preference was at the time. When it's very warm and it's a sunny day, I like a really good chilled lager. That is lovely. You haven't it's got a clue, have you? <laughs> you have a, a preference for um, ice beer. No, no, I'm just being honest. There, 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 there's there's average lager in a supermarket. I'm not going to name a few. It's a bit better than that. That's mm. that's the truth. It's an okay lager. As Austrian lagers go, we've been to Vienna, what, one, two, three times? I think it's really crisp. I think it's really refreshing. I like the hint of kind of citrus that you get with it. It's smooth. And it's very smooth. There's no but bitter it's not that crisp. It's got a strange dryness to it as well. And then it, then it hits you a bit. It's, 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 it's not great. It wasn't great on the sub, and it's not great on the blade. It's, <laughs> it's very overrated on the blade. I mean, I think the trouble is... Uh, the blade people, they have one too many and they're like, oh, wow, this is good. No, I think it is. I think that lager drinkers like lager. Mm. They will like their Heineken, the beer Moretti. They are going to like a decent clean pint that is served chilled of all of those type of lagers. Yeah, whatever you say. I'm not even going to go there. Because so a lot like... of the time it will go on price or what you prefer machine is to use. Yeah, that, that, uh, excellent. Chilled, still well chilled now. We've been really? talking, I don't know how many minutes. I'm seven minutes. Yeah, done because we're having an argument about this. No, I'm having an argument. I'm just making a point. <laughs> okay, a we're very, having a discussion. It's a very, yeah, a debate, as you say. It's a very bog standard lager that you're making out like it's really brilliant, but it's not. That's how it is. Yeah, but it's some just, people really like lager. Yeah. Where you like. Uh, well, they really like lager beer. like this. They might as well go down Tesco's. Because there's plenty of better options on your four for six and your three for a fiver. It isn't anything to shout about. I must have been. I tasted a super bowl from a bottle from a supermarket that tasted just as good as this. Super bowl was probably better actually, but there you go. And the price comparison is not even worth going there. I mean, you don't need to run the machine, you know. That machine. Oh yeah, there's a custom is, running in your machine. Is it, as is well. it double? The machine is a decent <laughs> machine, yeah. It deserves better than that. Put for it. That's my opinion. Right. Let's close this off before we end up arguing on camera. Then we have to delete it all. <laughs> yeah. Get someone, out about get someone to edit it. Right. For me, <laughs> this is a definite no way, Pedro. Um, if I'm being fair as a no, I'll give it a high no. I'll go. This is not that bad. It's drinkable. I'll go five and that is really really being fair it's really drinkable it pours nice it tastes nice it's cold um on a summer's day this is this is a great lager i i, I don't find anything unpleasant about it it's definitely mm, a six or a seven you haven't gone much higher than me you made out it was George Michael because sat there in the glass. Lagers, but I, I like IPAs. I like fruity IPAs. So standard lagers do taste kind of similar for me. But mm. this is really good carbonation. It's not flat. It looks nice. It smells nice. It tastes crisp. It's cold. Mm, it's still bubbling. So I'll yeah, it I would definitely drink it again. Right. Okay. Well, I won't be buying it in the blade again, so it won't be coming here again. So you better get your own blade because <laughs> I did purchase that. <laughs> If it means that much, you can have my glass as well after Thank I finish you very the cake. Much. Right, okay, like, subscribe. Difference of opinion there. I'm right, she's not, so 
it's not worth going on that way. And I know a lot of you blade drinkers really do like this, so I'll probably get a bit for this. But there you go. Better to be well, honest. I'm with you there. <laughs> better to be honest than not to be, isn't it? Okay. Right. Like, subscribe, and bye.